Well, hey, y'all. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. We out here in the stick garden, and I got something I want to show y'all. Let me get this camera set up, and I'm finna show y'all. All right. Uh, y'all need to see this. I started looking at some stuff, and y'all really need to see this. So, let me show you. What I have noticed is I have some leaves on these potatoes that are growing in containers that have spots on them. You see that? It's uh, not real predominant, but uh, it, it, is, it is really noticeable. See that? <clears throat> Um, they just turn out to be like little small dots. I have also noticed that I'm starting to get some of that on my tomato plants. You see that? Um... Let me, there we go, see it even better on that one. All right, let me get this camera turned around and we're gonna talk for a second. All right, y'all, um, when I had that camera turned around, I showed you those leaves on the tater plants and some of the leaves on the, on the uh, tomato plants. Excuse me, what that's called is blight. Uh, I have never, I've, I've planted potatoes for a few years now, and this is the first time that I've ever seen uh, blight on the potatoes. And certainly the first time I've ever seen any type of, uh, from what I understand, blight on my tomatoes. Uh, from what I understand, it's an airborne uh, uh, fungus, and it will literally uh, attack your uh, potato plants and it'll it'll eat it down almost to the uh, tubers themselves the taters themselves if if uh, the blight is severe um, I kind of caught this in you know in, in a in the right time I uh, looked at it this morning I was like eh. and then uh, went to work and I talked to a few fellas that I work with uh, namely uh, suede and co-op and I believe both of them are experiencing the same thing uh, which is blight on their taters uh, considering that this is an airborne fungus from what I understand now I'm not a master gardener or anything like that but this is just what I've read and from talking to people uh, you know this is what I've come up with but my potatoes plants are in close proximity to my uh, my tomatoes probably just a couple of feet so if it's an airborne fungus it makes sense that it would land it would some of that would get on my tomatoes um the strange thing is uh, myself uh, suede and co-op we all bought we all bought our seed taters from the same box store and we are uh, all three of us are experiencing the same thing with our, our taters, and that's blight. Um, the only thing that I would say on that is if you uh, make sure you, if you do your taters in containers or you do boxes or anything like that, um, make sure you get your, your seed taters from a, a, a reputable business, and I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. What I'm going to do is... Um, Suede actually put me on this stuff right here. Uh, Manor of God or something like that. But it is good for blight. And we're going to try it out. I'm actually, uh, it's what it calls for is you mix about uh, two to four tablespoons per gallon of water. And 
I have a sprayer over here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get this thing to turn. There we go. I have a sprayer over here. And I have probably four tablespoons of this product right here. It's uh it's made by Bonide or Bonide. Um we're gonna try it. If I'm not mistaken, co-op is using a uh, some type of sulfur spray on his. So we just gonna we all gonna check notes on each other and see what uh, how how his is doing, how Sway's are doing, how mine are doing. So I'm gonna get this uh, sprayer pumped up, and we're gonna really spray these uh, potato plants down. Uh, the two the uh, the two on the end, one being the Yukon Gold, and uh, the second one, depending on which way you go, the second one is a German Butterball. This German Butterball, the third one, going from right to left, does not have any signs of blight on it at all. So, but I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna douse it down and treat it real well. I'm also gonna douse down these uh, tomato plants with the, uh, the spray as well. Uh, this is designed for uh, tomatoes and potatoes. Uh, there's a bunch of words in here that I can't uh, pronounce, but blight is listed in it. So that's what we're going to do. So let me get this spray pumped up. And we're pumping. All right. <clears throat> Let me get this pointed up where you can actually see what I'm doing. Well, maybe point it down so you can see what I'm doing. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray these guys down real good. But <clears throat> I'm not going to bore you with me just spraying some taters down and some maters down. So <clears throat> get y'all out the sun. There we go. So I'm going to spray these guys down uh, with this fungicide. <clears throat> and then I'll turn the camera back on here in a second. So give me a few minutes and we'll be right back with you. All right, y'all. I dosed down these uh, these potato plants and my uh, tomato plants real good. Uh, I don't know if I overdosed them. Huh. No pun intended. Uh, but thing about it is, there's a lot of time and some money invested in all this stuff. So, you know, if you could get to it early, get to it early. So, and from what I've read. This blight will literally destroy a potato plant, all your potatoes, tubers, it will destroy everything. So why not catch it early if you can? I'm all about uh, using some type of uh, organic pesticide, but I didn't have time to research it and see what I could do. I, I needed it. I needed something to put on these, uh, these plants now. So we're just going to keep an eye on it. And, and see what happens and on these potatoes from what I've seen in red this blight will actually cause the stems of the potatoes the, the potato plant stems to actually turn black and eventually it'll make its way down to the tubers which are the taters and you'll have black blotches on your potatoes and I've seen pictures of somebody cutting one in half and it just looked like it looks like the potato was ate from the inside out it was just black it was pretty nasty but we we don't want to do that we want to 
cure it now while we can. And again, um, last year I planted uh, probably the same amount of taters. I can't remember how many I planted, but uh, it was about the same amount. And I didn't have uh, this problem at all. Uh, nothing on my mater plants, anything like that. Uh, again, you know, I'm not a master gardener, but you know, this is just this is something new to me, so I thought I'd share it with y'all. Uh, so we're going to keep up with this, and we're going to see uh, what happens. From what I understand, one or two days, uh, we might cure this blight. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But uh, yeah, um, I actually applied some of that uh, stuff. I can't even pronounce it to all of my mater plants because I have a lot of. I have made of plants all over the place in containers, and especially in that uh, that two by eight raised bed we built. So I actually dosed them down with it too. But we're gonna see. So I hope everybody's doing well and okay. Uh, it's a pretty day today in East Central Mississippi. So y'all, it's not about all the things that you can get, but it's gonna be all about the stuff that you can give. And we'll see you on the next video.